Fusioners, uh, Seth Ann Anderson here. I am uh, doing this vlog up um, to, uh, I guess, introduce the training video you'll see afterwards. It's uh, me and John Meadows um, in a couple gyms in Columbus, uh, one of his regular gyms, and then one training session at Elite FDS with uh, owner Dave Tate. <clears throat> and yeah, after this vlog, I will be um, <clears throat> back caught up to, uh, to date, um, so the, the stuff you see from me from now on will be, uh, you know, within the last few days, and that's going to be leading right into my show in two and a half weeks. Uh, first show is in Tampa, second show is in Dallas, and I'm, I guess I'm at a point in my prep uh, where everyone gets and they start to, you know, they get worried. I mean, I've... Um, you know, you feel ten different ways in, you know, three hours. You feel like, oh, God, I'm ready. I'm spot on now. And then, you know, 20 minutes later, I was, am I flat? Am I, you know, am I holding water? Or am I fat? Is it not just water? Is it, you know, am I thinking is water? And it's not water, it's fat. So <laughs> you have all these uh, little games that you play with with, uh, with your head. And which is why you hire a coach. So you don't, um, it takes those, uh, uh, you know, um, miscalculations and uh, you have a trained eye and somebody that has experience to uh, to do what needs to be done at this point so um, a little bit about how things are going um, it's honestly this is the biggest thing that's playing with my head uh, I don't feel like I've suffered at all this diet this has probably been the easy like I could how I'm eating at two and a half weeks out I could eat this diet year round and it wouldn't bother me in the least. Like I just, I understand now how John um, is ripped all the time. It's the way he has set his metabolism. I think it's the way he set mine now after working with him for a year because, um, you know, I, we got up around 5,000 calories in the off season when I was fishing, um, lobster fishing this year, when I started my contest diet, I was at 4,800 calories pretty well the whole time. Um, when fishing finished up, we dropped down to 36, 37, then we had to bat, pop her back up to 39, and I've stayed here, and I mean, I'm having, you know, cinnamon raisin, easy kill, uh, English muffins with butter on them, that's like my pre-workout workout meal, um, still get 300 grams of carbs a day, 120 grams, uh, intra-workout, highly branched cyclic dextrins, um, so I, you know, to be dieting at 3,900 calories, I showed I showed a buddy of mine that's, uh, that's competed at nationals and, and done very well and very prominent and he said it looked like an off-season diet, uh, but uh, I mean the proof is that you know I can, I can line up my pictures uh, from FIBA last year. I, I'm very meticulous with journalizing uh, where I'm at with my preps. Um, I have the you know, pictures every week, um, same camera, so much as to uh, have the same time of day and the same lighting. So I know what time I took the picture this year, and then I take into account the different season. <laughs> anyway, I get a little carried away with it, but you get the idea. I can line up the pictures, and I can see that you know I am, you know, if I'm not at the same place as I was getting ready for FIBA last year at two and a half weeks out, I'm probably a little bit ahead. And on top of that, my waist, as uh, as I've told you before, my waist is down a lot um, with the few things we did this year. So, um, you know, looking at it, standing back and look at, looking at it, I shouldn't be so apprehensive and, and worried, um, but it just, you know, that I haven't suffered, you know, I, I expect to suffer if I'm going to be in shape and I can't have another repeat of uh, what happened at my pro debut, I never want that to, to happen again, I hate looking at the pictures, I hate that they even exist, that I, um, you know, I just, I really miss my mark and, you know, as looking back, it's no one's fault but my own because I should have known, looking at myself in the mirror, that hey, you're not in shape, you're not ready yet, and um, I didn't know. Um, I, I guess I lied to myself, so I'm not letting that happen again ever. Um, so I'll push as hard as I can, but I just, like I said, I, I it just if I um, if I were to push hard right now, I think I'd lose 15 pounds or 20 pounds. And I can't do that either, so we just, um, you know, we've been having cheat days every three or four days. I might have to go have a pizza. I mean, I've had more pizzas this diet than I've had the whole off-season. 
and that's just to slow the metabolism down. Now we, you know, I've had cardio in maybe three weeks, two or three weeks at 45 minutes, and that's getting pulled out now. I got pulled out today. Um, just because again I'm flattening out quickly, uh, conditioning is improving you know day by day very quickly any real need of it and you know looking back at it you know taking a step back uh, if I were to look at it uh, if I were training a client I'd you know I, I'd be totally on board and I'm totally on board for what uh, what he's laying out of course um, it just uh, you uh, you always have that fear because you're gonna be up on stage and you know, you, you don't have much covering up, so you, you need to be in shape everywhere, not just, you know, your arms and your shoulders and that everything has to be in shape. So, um, so I guess you can tell I'm a little, a little nervous, a little apprehensive uh, going to the show. Um, lots of big names going in there, but, you know, I think uh, with my improved package, um, tighter waist, uh, come in granite hard, you know, I, I think I can hold my own with those guys, so I'm you know, looking forward to it. So that's, uh, we'll get to the video now. Um, uh, Vlogs will be coming pretty regularly every few, three or four days, four or five days now. As there's only two weeks left and I want to journalize as much as I can for you guys. Um, we'll do some food stuff next time. Uh, and that's, that's pretty much it. So on to the, on to the training.